My name is Maria, and I'm here on Treaty 6 territory at the Saskatoon Public Library in Stonebridge. And I'm in the story room, or the meeting room rather, and there's no one else here, so I'm going to take off my mask. So today we're on Board and Busters. I'm going to teach you how to make one of these. It's just a paper airplane, but it's got this little launcher, so you can launch it. I'm going to try and demonstrate. Through the air. Like that. <laughs> All right, come with me. I'll show you how it's done. So for this craft, you will need a piece of paper, an elastic band, a paper clip, and a piece of tape. So to make a paper airplane, all you have to do is fold it in half, fold your paper in half along the long edge, and you want to make sure that you're making the folds nice and tight, nice and crisp. Then you open it back up and you're gonna fold each side down into the center. And you want it to be, the pages to be as even as you can. Okay, and then you're gonna do it again. Now we're going to fold it this way, out like that, and then we're going to do it one more time, on either side. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's okay. And then just make sure it's really crisp. And then we're gonna fold it open. So this side is face up. And we're just gonna fold this piece up just like that. So, you, so now you have a fold there. And it doesn't have to be all the way, but just a nice straight fold like that, and then we're gonna flip it open. Now we're gonna flip it over again, and then you can see where that, that crease is, and we're gonna bend our paper clip out and stick that right where the fold is, so it sticks out the other side. And then we're going to tape that. So you do want to make sure that your paper clip is fairly secure so that it doesn't come out. And then we're just gonna fold it closed like that. All right, so once that's taped, we're just gonna put that wing up like that. And you wanna have a kind of an, a little curve at the end of your paper clip. It just makes it easier to kind of launch it. And then we're gonna fold right where that paper clip is 
we're gonna fold that tip in but make sure your wings aren't like closed like this they got to be open like this and then we're gonna fold that tip in we'll tape we'll tape that down too and then you just need to fold the wings back open Grab your elastic band and we're going to see if we can shoot them. Woo! So there you go. That's how it's done. And then when you're launching it, I like to put it through my fingers like this and then use the one furthest away from me and then kind of get these fingers closer together and then just kind of aim it upwards. Woo, and it can go pretty far. So, I don't know, try not to hit your sister or brother or mom in the face with it. But So yeah, you might want to have a competition to see how far you can get yours to go or try out different angles, what flies best and is the most aerodynamic. You could make two and have those two planes compete against each other or you and a brother or a sister or another family member could compete against one another or, or a friend. You might want to go outside. I know it's still snowy out, but you'll have more room to see how far you can get it to go. Um, it would also be fun to see how far it would go if you like launched it off of something high, like um, if you had a balcony and you shot it into your backyard or if you have an upper story to your house and you could launch it out of a window just make sure that you're being safe and asking permission um so that's it for today thanks for joining me uh here on treaty six territory the traditional homeland of the metis my name's maria have a great day everyone thanks